Hello everyone, YouTube is Alex here, back with some more Boom Beach. Now we are on the defensive account this time. Mainly, I was actually going to be here for a little bit of discussion, rather than as much of gameplay as I normally do. So of course I usually try and get some you know, stuff playing on in the background. I have a few attacks uh, to show you, um, these are replays mind you. Uh, mainly showing off uh, Gren Medic, Gren Gr 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 if you want to try and combine the two. Gren Medic, arguably, uh, it's not the most, I wouldn't say it's the most, the most universal strategy in the world, but it is one that I am using, and damn, I gotta love these Grenadiers. I don't know why I like them so much, but they are just a fun troop. Like I said, I've never really used them before, but they are cool looking. And despite their slight stupidity and lack of accuracy, they generally will get the job done, as uh, you will see in some attacks. And uh, I think for the sake of reference, that resource base that was up here, that was being fought over by a really high level guy, I think he's backed off. Which is uh, a bit weird because I was probably the one who, uh, <clears throat> I would have thought I was the one who backed off. I mean, we're talking about re quite a lot of buildings but basically I am I in this I pretty much exploited the grenadiers ability to have a huge amount of range and to be honest their range is their best asset I found so that is that and once again it is the weekend still it's Saturday so <coughs> there's a uh, another beer for me to drink and no I'm not an alcoholic I keep always saying this but uh, you know I like my drink so, with the pausing, that is why. Now, I have considered getting myself some kind of um, face cam going on, um, but the thing is, like I said, I am a very lazy person, and I generally don't, well, you know, without, if I had some extreme reason to, I haven't really bothered to edit my videos in any kind of way, so, uh, yeah, generally I don't bother. Now, sorry about that, just going to move that out of the way a second. So... I would. I was trying to get some kind of webcam utility that I could almost have up here at all times, rather than sort of record my face, then record this, and then just overlay the two, which I know is not that difficult to do. But I'm lazy. Um, I'm. I. I have a lot more enjoyment and fun just doing what I do right now, and actually just spout stuff to the camera right now, have a drink, just talk to you guys, have a bit of fun in, amongst the things, and just you know get some get some discussion going. In the last video about. What was the last video about? I cannot remember. It was on the offensive account, uh, but whatever it was, I was discussing a lot about uh, some of the new, some ideas for a uh, like a, a healing building of some kind. It was just a weird idea I had, but I've, you know, it would be cool to sort of implement and see if you could even balance such a thing. So it was that idea, and I was having a bit, you know, a short discussion with some of my uh, viewers. And uh, thanks for watching as well, just um, giving me some support. But it's early days for me in YouTube. Uh, I mean, I have been on and off YouTube as a as a viewer of other people's videos for a long time but me actually making videos maybe within a couple months I've been making them maybe a bit more or less I have not really checked so you know videos and I have not been on for very long but and I suppose my kind of style of recording it, it, I'm not the only one just to turn on the camera spout stuff to the the recording and then when you're done you uh you upload at the end of the day without really putting a care in the world but Yes, that is me in a shell nut. Music reference. Um, <laughs> so, give me a second. I'll pause the video and I'll be back once I have some kind of uh, thing to show you my face. Because I, I even I'm not much to look at. You, you probably cause, actually. I'll just come back in a second. And I'm back now. One thing before I uh, continue is, I I swear when you when it, I, I'm I'm guilty of this, but with any with everybody with does YouTube right, and they may not have a face cam, but you li you listen to their voice. And, I don't know, you seem to just, over time, gain a bit of an image in your head of what they might look like. I'm guilty of doing that as well, and then, you know, when people show you their face for the first time, if, they're, if they just implemented a face cam for the first time, it's kind of a case of, I was not expecting it to look like that. Now, like I said, I'm probably guilty of uh, doing that, but... You know, I suppose the three re I, I say three regulars, the three people who seem to have commented in the past... Um, they, assuming they are regulars, I don't know. Um, I think I have at least two people that's regular, I don't know. Early days, like I said. Anyway, I'm just getting off the point, but... It, you know, people seem to get a bit of an idea of what you might look like, even though you've not, uh, you've not seen me. Now, I, I have got a basic webcam viewer over here, uh, which I will bring into shot now, so hey. 
Hey everyone, I'm here. Camera's over there on my other monitor. So, yes, I'm not exactly a great thing to look at, mind you. And, uh, yes, here's some beer. But people get can get an idea of what people look like just from their voice. So, hey, here's me. My The lighting in this room is kind of crap. Um, and, yeah, windows over there. Don't ask about the spiked thing, bat thing at the back. I'll show you that later. And there's some computing crap on my bed. Doesn't that just explain everything? And apparently, Boom Beach has gone over there. I should put the webcam on the on the other thing over there, but I'm only record. I'm recording my other screen on uh, my right screen, and the camera's over there. So yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not. I'm hardly anything to look at, and to be honest, I hate my own reflection in the mirror sometimes. So, <laughs> but you are what you are. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, will I keep a face cam permanently? I would say unlikely. Like I said, I can't really put this thing up here and I and you may th and that's too big for one thing and then you may think well if I just disconnect the camera then switch it to a lower resolution it still captures the same thing and I just took a picture of myself um, but you see what I mean you and I can't get the thing I mean if anyone's got any basic viewers but even then if I click off off of it it also does that so it makes more sense to try and do some kind of some kind of overlay or within editing, but I can't be able to edit half the time, so that's that. And if you're wondering what the hell this thing is, yes, I've, I've been bored. I took some nails and shoved them into a piece of wood from a tree in the back garden. So I've got a bit of a club going on here, so. Yes, I'm a weird person at heart, really. That's probably why I don't have many friends. And another reason I don't have many friends is I don't honestly uh, go out enough and socialise, but wait, what socialising? It's this concept I'm not familiar of. <laughs> Hey, I don't really care though. So anyway, let's move on to this thing. So let's get my face off the screen because uh, you probably, I probably may have made some people go blind already from my face. But uh, yes. Anyway, let's go into Grand Medic. Uh, I've just spent seven minutes just talking about my face. Yes. Um. So I'm just going to put some gameplay footage on of me taking down some NPCs with Grand Medic, and just show you that it it is arguably a very nice and effective strategy. So. I've got a couple of things to uh, throw up uh, at the moment. Not literally throw up. Um, I have only been drinking for about three seconds. So, and uh, one of my YouTube, uh, one of my commenters or watchers, whatever you want to call it, um, he mentioned about making a. Uh, what about if I made a task force for any, uh, you know, any of my followers on YouTube's followers? God, what am I talking about Twitter or something? Um, but yeah, making a task force. Now, I've actually never considered that. I mean, I've seen task forces, you know, I've seen other people do them as well. It's not actually crossed my mind, I'll be honest with you. Um, and I might consider doing it, uh, but the thing is I've really no idea what is even involved in task force as far as I'm aware of. I know you can collect intel from defeating bases and such, and uh, it's used for like unlocking map, like unlocking bases on the task force map, if that's even a thing. Um, so, to clarify what the, what's actually down there and everything, but if I was to set up a task force, it would be very much just casual. Uh, no, by no means serious. It's literally just to have fun. Um, I wouldn't be stressing about getting intel, just doing well in the missions. It's literally just to have fun, and I would probably, you know, have it fairly minimalistic with the uh, requirements as well. You know, I mean, what what am I right now? I'm 280 victory points, so maybe I don't know. Let people in at maybe 200 victory points. I don't know. I know you can like do a victory point sort of limiting thing, so. And a couple rounds of Dr. T coming up here, so I don't know. It, 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 I suppose it's like it, it, it could be done, and I and I'll think about it. But I wouldn't say it's. Um, I don't. I don't think I'll be doing it just yet. Uh, I've got other things to uh, think about. But uh, thanks for the um, sort of reminder. But I don't even know why it didn't even cross my mind. You know, task force is a big part of this. Um, and also, oh, so that's actually another thing. I I swear. Hopefully I'm not going crazy here. There was something that you can do, like you can do like friendly battles. You can battle people's like bases for like uh, in a friendly sense. And I've never seen anyone do that. Or if, if I'm literally going crazy, but as far as I understand of that, you can just like test people's bases, test raid them, I guess. But you don't gain any loot. It's just for the sake of testing. I, I something tells me I'm completely off my nutter. I might be just talking out my ass, but. That might be a thing. I don't know. Um, but if so, then I suppose that, hey, you can test my base. <laughs> if it does work only in a task force sense, I don't know. That's called a lot of barrage. <laughs> I 
Actually, that's another thing. I'll, I'll swing back to the uh, gameplay here. The Gren Medic, there's one one thing I have really noticed uh, with Gren Medic that is actually kind of awesome. And that is, you don't need a lot of GBE to, to sort of get them in a, an appropriate stage that you can say, okay, do your thing. Now, what I mean is, you know, like, okay, tanks and stuff, tanks and scorches, you need GBE to drop them, right? Well, obviously, Grens don't need that with most other sort of, you know, living troops, essentially. In this case, they're just men with moustaches who actually look a little bit, uh, unless, I'm not sure it's a bit very like. Uh, this is actually the resource base I recently conquered and I've subsequently defended, but. So, yeah, you can see what I mean by uh, cannons and the extended range that they have. Or grenadiers and cannons. Whatever. Um, but what I mean is, like, you, you don't need to sort of clear many buildings away from you. As long as there's something in front of the of a dangerous building to grenadiers. Uh, in other words, uh, snipers and boom cannons. And in some cases, high-level mortars. But uh, not too much of a worry. But, you know, because 99% of the time, as you can see here, I just weakened the uh, sniper and the, and the boom cannon. And the Grenadiers will eventually just overthrow and take out the building anyway. So you don't need to worry about GBEing too many buildings out the way. Maybe you, you, maybe you could like weaken them a little bit. But they are not necessarily a priority to sort of go, okay, I need to target these, guy, these guys now. These buildings even, I lost a Grenadier just then. Once again, the cannon was just slightly in the wrong place, but... You know, it's, it's quite a nice troop, but not to mention, in some cases, with uh, some of the Dr. T maps you find with whatever the sort of spawn is, um, you can quite easily do a huge hyper barrage. Even for someone like myself on, um, on my defensive account, which obviously I don't have really anything in terms of you know statues and whatnot, so you can really stack up the points there. Now, this mortar and rocket launcher combo really did a number on these two grenadiers here, but they were still alive and kicking, or in this case, chucking grenades. Um, interestingly, the grenades are left-handed, if you've never really looked, but maybe you have, I don't know. But they're actually left-handed, they always um, throw the grenade and well, with the left hand, which, uh, although actually, hang on, they switch hands, I stand corrected. Um, they're, in this position they're using their left hand, but if you spotted it when he went that way, uh, straight up, to go for that rocket launcher there, he actually switched the grenades with his right hand, so, I, so, so it's actually orientate orientation specific with these guys so interesting I'm gonna say but honestly if um, if I was uh, throwing any kind of grenade I would use the right hand that's pretty obvious I mean I've pretty much done this this resource base like a routine you just let them walk up here weaken the, the, the snipe and the boom cannon once everything's clear you get this close and um, this wasn't intentional, but the medics were actually supporting my Grens by at least taking the flak. Because uh, it, it actually turns out um, six medics is actually a good um, amount of medics to have. I mean, I was tempted to go with three medics, but the thing is, Grens are not like heavies. They don't have a lot of health in comparison, but they have quite a lot more health versus, say, a rifleman. So, yes, they can take the flak, but you know, you need to keep whatever health that they have, which is around 450-500 somewhere in there, you need to keep that health up. Uh, so having the extra healing power is certainly a, uh, a good thing. So there you go. That base falls. And I've actually still got it. I'll show you those defences in a bit, but like I said, I'm just showing you some attacks here. Uh, so I mean, I don't know, this is a different map, okay. But you can see what, like, often I don't have to GBE too much away with these sort of landings. I mean, I would have, I was thinking the boom cannon, but I was also thinking overthrow would do it. And look, just weaken those snipers and you'll watch eventually they'll overthrow. There you go, there goes that sniper. That goes there goes that other sniper. So it's it's a good thing. You don't have to do that. You don't have to like shoot that final artillery shell just to take out that one building. As long as the Grens weren't in immediate range targeting something else and said building was behind them, it'll nearly always fall, which is a good thing. Although I do lose a couple of Grens, I think it was probably to these snipers, because uh, the the front here gets destroyed, and you can see they're getting targeted now, so surprisingly that sniper does hurt a lot. Was they actually do that? So you might mean, the rocket launchers I'm not too worried about, so there goes that, there goes that guy. Obviously I can't remember too much, but these guys are awesome. That's all I'm going to say. They're not, like I said, they're never everyone's cup of tea, but they are a lot of fun to do, and I kind of can't wait till I get these extra landing craft, but 
with in, t with in terms of what I'm actually doing building wise there is a whole lot that I am going to be doing um, I'll actually speed this up now because I, I actually decided to clear this bit out but you know what am I actually going to be building next um, you know what are my status of upgrades are I mean I'm still trying to get like all the recent buildings from the last HQ up to roughly of equivalent level so that's a lot of fun um, that actually kind of reminds me I'm just thinking like HQs and stuff and yeah, people were, uh, this other guy was saying that it's kind of hard to um, put money into the game or it might not see the reason of putting money into the game. Well, yeah, I, I can agree with you, but, you know, I don't, I, I only realistically put money just for the HQ upgrades because let's also be realistic here. Unless you are somehow gaining resources from everything that like you have, like, you know, everything is like life statues, you know, boosted up masterpieces or something ridiculous. It's, it's very hard you know, to get the amount of loot that you need and then you just get immediately raided again. I mean, I've, I've said this about defending it before, but, you know, defense in this game, it, it really relies on a few things. Like I said, you need a good base design, ice preferably, and most importantly, low victory points. You've got to keep those under control. And I'll be honest, re in recently, 280, 280 victory points for someone who's just shy of level 40 is a tad high. Uh, I've been a tad high to be honest because of these guys here, these grenadiers. They've been they've been sort of tempting me to attack so much that yeah, they've kind of artificially pushed my victory points up. Although that was kind of my doing. I just thought I want to attack everything. Yeah, because I know grenadiers are awesome, but especially for bases like this where everything's nice and close. Because no matter what they're what no matter what the overthrow hits, it's going to hit something and deal damage to it. So these are great guys. Certainly can't get tired of them. <sighs> nice beer. Anyway, so that, that's kind of a lot of my ranting over with. I'm I'm also kind of thinking as well. I mean, I know I've said 27 times already. Um, I wish to do some computer-related videos. They I will probably get something done tomorrow. I suspect because uh, half the reason why. I was um, doing this video was more just as a discussion video rather than actually me doing any kind of serious defense talk or anything. I was just going to mainly sort of give a video response to some of the comments last night from the last video. And you know, once again, thanks for the support. Although I, I swear, every single YouTuber you <laughs> who actually gets people who actually look at their stuff will probably say that a million times. Although one thing I am not, one thing I am grateful for at the moment is actually of a small channel. Because this is this is probably going to be a point where every YouTuber will get to, but you'll get to a certain number of point points. God, I'm thinking of victory points here. You'll get to a certain number of, you know, subscribers and regulars who will regularly comment, and it gets to the point where it's very hard to sort of read them all and reply to them. Because I will try, and uh, I mean, although I'm hardly pretty much effort into it at the moment, but um, just because of numbers here, but I will obviously try and, um, especially in the future, to re read and reply to any and all comments, uh, as long as they're obviously something that actually warrants response, because sometimes you might just be saying, you know, great video, and I might, even I might just give you a thanks, but if it doesn't, if it's not strictly a question, I may not answer, but, you know, if it, if it, if it you know, this is also assuming I'm getting fairly large in the future as a YouTuber, you know, if it gets to the point where it's like, I don't know, a thousand emails a day. That's another thing. Um, every time I get a comment, my it'll go off on my phone, so I usually will see it fairly quickly, assuming my phone hasn't died. I mean, what is my phone actually doing? Eh, it's still there. Battery life on the phone's a bit crap. It's, a, it's an LG G4, but battery life's a bit lackluster sometimes. Anyway, so yeah, I will try and also get to comments, but of course time goes on. Channel gets larger. You know, get out some issues as time goes on. But Anyway, uh, enough of that ranting. Um, yes, more beer needed. Actually, one thing I will say about the Grenadiers, they definitely put the boom into Boom Beach, that's for sure. Even on two times speed, it's just like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just love these guys, they're awesome. I didn't actually need to do that flare, because, um, I mean, the reason was I flared closer because I destroyed the cannon, but hey, I'm still here. So yeah, um, actually, just before I show you some other defences, I have recently also got this uh, extra Guardian, because um, a little while ago I did actually upgrade the Sculptor to level 5, because that was a biatch uh, to get the resources for, and not to mention, look at the resources for level 6. It ain't gonna happen. So, actually, 
Uh, leave me a comment, actually. What is the max level for a sculpt? Something tells me it's like level 8 or something. Because something tells me there's a limit of maybe 10 statues. Like I said, don't quote me on that and um, just give me a comment. You know, what is actually the max uh, sculpt I can get to? Although, I could look it up on the wiki, but hey, I may as well. <laughs> I may as well just let you guys do it. Um, <laughs> oh dear, I'm a cheapskate. Anyway, here's my crystal stacks. are doing alright, getting close to... Um, a lot of the dark stuff and the power powders are looking a little lackluster oh well <laughs> it was probably because I put that huge boost on like seven, six statues it was like uh, three power powder per statue uh, for the time which I had the stupidly powerful boom cannons I remember doing a video on that it was like it was the full boost ice defense so um, have a look through my channel you'll uh, you'll find that so it was since being another, that statue was another damage booster yeah we got a lot of damage a lot of damage, but I have been raided a couple times. Uh, I think this was yesterday. So uh, even a, a warrior attack. That's actually another thing. I did tweak the back end of the base slightly for warriors. In other words, I think I, mo I moved a mortar. Um, there was a. I think I moved the, mor the mortar from here to here. Replaced so it's a machine gun there now. This machine gun's here. The sniper that was where the machine gun is now where the sniper is, and that's all I've done. Um, so there's just a few tweaks um, here and there. So yeah, base isn't really not not much different. Don't know. This base design does still seem to hold very strong. So why why break what is not well? Why fix what's not broken? Whatever the saying is. So still going to get this rocket launched up to level five to be in line with my existing one here. Um, the cannon going up to level 9, so these are level 9, so, the, so eventually then we'll start getting all these cannons to level 10, so I've still got 3 that need to get up there. And I also need to get some of these machine guns to level 13 as well, so this one's at level 13, I have quite a lot of level 12s here. Let's see, 12, 12, 12, 13 up there, so a few things need to be changed up there as well. And then I probably would think, uh, I think it was flamethrowers, would, maybe either flamethrowers or, I don't know. Flame throws a mortar somewhere in there, but another thing, maybe I should actually upgrade this damn buttons, please. Maybe I should upgrade the sub. It's still a level four on that, and uh, you can also see another thing. I have an overload of gold. I mean, I did actually, I did recently upgrade these residences to level eight, and holy crap, level nine is uh, a bit ridiculous. So yeah, done that. Uh, you know what? Go, go away a moment. Um, that be Discord. So. Yeah, actually, this is actually a good time to say something else. If uh, although I'm kind of I'm kind of using this video just to sort of have, sort of talk and advertise a lot of stuff. All right, let's get some defenses being played, um, and I'll keep discussing. So, but yeah, apart from the obligatory computer videos, which I'm still gonna do, just bear with me here. Um, this was actually Smoky Rifleman, which has kind of failed. Was I'm gonna say, um, but anyhow, there's that. So. But also, is there any other games you might want me to play? I mean, I have quite a few different games. Um, well, quite a lot of different things, really. But uh, I don't know. So I, I could do things like Skyrim, Payday 2. Uh, I can't. I, what is my game library? I can't even remember. Game library. Steam. It's going to open on the wrong screen, isn't it? Um, sorry about that. Uh, Space Engineers, Seven Days to Die, Forest. Uh, Eden Stout, which I don't really do much at the moment. Uh, oh god, Postal 2, I remember that. Uh, Subnautica, um, Warframe I quit. Um, but yeah, I have quite I have quite a few games, but uh, one thing I will just mention, I am not a... Um, I really don't like PvP games. Um, it's just been a thing with me. I just really just don't like PvP. It's just... It's just I, don't, I do not see the fun in it, in my opinion. Uh, maybe that, that is just me. Um, but... Yeah, you can see this. Just, this this here is cruelty to riflemen. Just look at this. He really expected that to work, really. I mean, yeah, the flamethrower was gone. Two machine guns were looking at him. Three snipers were looking at him. Boom cans won't do much. Two other cans probably won't do much. But then there's like two rocket launchers which would have seen him. What was the point of that, mate? <laughs> so I had to put it simply, but. And here's actually the re this is the level 41 that's been um, constantly uh, taking that resource base from me because I mean yeah he's not much higher level than me but his troops are certainly higher level than me uh, and the statue bonuses that he has is also quite high not to mention he's actually at 300 victory points as well so 
um, we'll get that playing as well. So, like I said, let me know if you want me, if you want me to play another games. I'll certainly be happy to do so. Um, but also another thing is um, I do have a Minecraft server, or at least my friend does. It runs on. Um, it's actually a modded Minecraft. So we, we, we're kind of just starting it as a uh, a why not thing. But the thing is, we in recent days. Um, well, I say recent. Um, running servers on modded Minecraft is really kind of difficult because the thing is, you don't have really realistically any plugins at all. It, it's basically plugin support in uh, Minecraft servers nowadays, which is just a problem. It, 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 and we we haven't. I was having a bit of an argument. It's just like you know, what do we do? You know, friends wanted a Minecraft server, and I and I would have helped. As I've been a server admin for many, many years, I actually met one of my friends on uh, his Minecraft server, and we've been friends for like the past like three, four years now. So very long-lasting pen pals, if you want to think about it that way. But uh, yeah, but what we were saying that like, you know he wanted a server and everything, but did did he just well have a local server like because he wanted mods, a modded server, which is fair enough, I suppose. But that's what he wanted. But yeah, you could either do it locally. I can't even English. More beer, here, please. So yeah. Um. But no, he he was either going to say do it lo um you know just for us, so just a small server for us to uh, just use, play, and whatnot. But the thing is. I, I kind of said to him, no, I've done this so many times. I've just done, like, you know, our own personal servers just for us. But it, it got to the bit of a cycle where we just did the same thing. Played it for a couple of weeks and then forgot about it. I spent way too much of my life doing that. So, yeah, I kind of had enough. So what, what I'm going to be doing instead, uh, or what we ended up doing, was trying to find a way to get plugins. Because um, then we could protect land, and with protected land, you can run a server. Um, you know, realistically speaking, at least, like at least protecting spawn, because other otherwise you would have had basically nothing but an anarchy server as as your best bet. So, um, but we found a mod. Well, we got a mod pack. I think it was like the what mod pack was it? It was um, I think the Direwolf Twenty mod pack. I think from the uh, FTV launcher. So we got we got that to we like fudged basically plugins onto it. It was not easy and quite difficult, but we managed to sort of fudge it together. Um, so it does work with plugins. We need to have some protected land and everything and, and I and I'm the sort of person as well that with Minecraft servers and I'm an admin, I will apart you know, if I have if I have no one to sort of help and advise, I am the sort of person also just to uh, you know, to build stuff. That's the thing that's, that's another thing about uh, servers. Um, I am the sort of person that will hate griefers with a passion and you will, you will be banned mercilessly if found grieving on my server. Anyway, um, but there is that. Um, there's a different resource base, okay. What is this guy? I kind of forgot about this resource base. Um, don't think he dropped any troops. Um, so yeah. Um, wow. This guy does like no damage to the boom cannons. Huh. So yeah, sorry, I can't even English right now. I think I think it's the alcohol. Um, but no, we since we you know, if I'm bored and you know on a server, I will just build things. Most people, it seems like most people that seems to be around here, if they, you know, if they're on a server and they're bored, what do people do? It seems this in this day and age, they'll grief shit. They'll just blow it up. I do not understand why. The, the mindset of a griefer perplexes me and infuriates me at the same time. But whatever, it's their prerogative, I suppose. But all, all of the above. Um, all of that said, but whatever. So I, I build stuff. So I've been doing a lot of work on there, getting some stuff done. But it's a small server. It runs the Dial 20 mod pack. And I'll leave the um, the no IP address uh, in the description. So if you guys want to join, uh, join that and uh, say hi to me. Uh, then let me know. It's, I think it's Direwolf20 the... I'm pretty sure it's that. Hang on. Let me, um, I'll actually just close Boom Beach for a second and have, and I'll actually just show you what I'm on about. Yes, I have a lot of icons. And yes, half of my game icons don't work. I'm well aware of this. It it be... Uh, it be this one. Direwolf20, the 1.7.10 version. So, 
yeah this this one here this is this is the one you want to look for with the FTP launcher so um, I'll leave the the uh, no IP link in the description that's essentially the IP if you don't know so I'll leave that in the description you can join and say hi but um, all I say it is a UK based server it's actually uh, running on one of my friends computers um, so performance might be a little iffy at times and although it's generally okay and I suppose uptime may vary slightly because it is obviously his machine and he's subject to his parents not liking computers on overnight but uh, I think he has been keeping it um, you know keeping it relatively speaking uh, up the majority of the time so but yeah come come say hi if you uh, if you want to join me on this say hi I don't know do some stuff um, I'm actually I'm currently building an NPC city a city dedicated to the NPCs high in the Alps biome in biomes of plenty so uh, I'm not quite done with that city yet. I still a fair bit to do. I've got to do the high wealth district, but that's something I could show you in time. So, but anyway, I'm going to start rambling on about. This is a long, this is a long video, a lot longer than I normally do, but a lot had to be said. Uh, but like I said, thank thank you for your support, even though it's only a few people at the moment. <laughs> I, 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 I can keep saying it's early days, but you know, early days and whatnot. Thanks for the support. Uh, join me in Minecraft if you want. Let me know what, what you want me to do if you want me, if you want to see some other videos on different games. Um, and I don't know, what do you think of Gren Medic as well? I may as well just throw lots of questions out there because I'm certainly interested to know. What do you think about Gren Medic? Are you, do you use it? Do you think it's crazy? Do you, do you not like Grenadiers at all? Are you are you like um, Bentim1 who hates Grenadiers? Um, <laughs> or at least he seems to dislike the inaccuracy a lot. I don't know. But let me know in the description and I sh uh, the, the, the comments, even not description. And I should have the IP in the description. If I don't, then just give me a bit because I'll have to try and fish it out of uh, my friend. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.